All right, guys, today I've got a cool um, little review here. This is going to be an app review on a launcher. Let me just show you what launcher it is. It's right here. It's called Doodle Launcher. Right there looks like a little house. Pretty cool. So we're going to go through that and do a kind of a full review, if we can, here of this launcher. I'm going to go through as much detail as I can on it. It does have lots of lots of really neat features. So right here, this is going to be your stock theme, basically, um, that you get when you install the launcher. And I will show you a lot of other ones you can get as well. But um, pretty slick. You can see I do have some customization. This did pull pretty much all my icons off my original launcher that's on the phone and pull them right in here so it was kind of partially set up when you got it which is really really nice um so let me try to go through this and show you as much much as i can on this device right here you can go to doodle menu and pop this thing up and you can see all your features you do have an add button here which you can see allows you to add apps folders widgets shortcuts you can scroll over uh doodle shortcuts expansion pack a lot of good features right there we're going to go back hit our menu button again you can go into themes and these are actually themes that i've actually downloaded and they're pretty simple to apply you can see i can just go ahead and apply one this is probably one of my favorites this little neon looking thing i think it looks really really cool um, but pretty pretty simple here to apply themes here's another one i've installed and there you go you can see another theme so very, very, very cool. Theming is nice. You can see that it says free themes. Most of these themes are actually completely free, which is, again, awesome. And they have quite a huge selection of themes in here. New themes, photo memories. I mean, it kind of goes on and on and on. Locker themes for your lock screen, if you want to install their lock screen uh, application. So very, very cool. Definitely lots of fun features in here as well. Um, let's go back in here to settings again and show you, you got wallpapers Which is just your standard basically wallpapers and What else can we show you icon packs? So these are the icon packs of the three themes I have downloaded and you can apply so let me just show you, you can go to This icon pack really quick and it keeps the wallpaper, but changes your icons over to that look and Like I said, this thing is just pretty fully loaded. You can go to screens here and add another screen if you want to add another screen and adjust all those kind of settings right there settings goes just goes into your own settings this is actually a galaxy note 3 um, and i have it themed with some other things but that's those settings and then preferences is going to be your doodle launcher settings so you can see i already have it set as default if you uncheck that you can then hit home and see all your launchers. I'm going to go ahead and reset it as always. Um, just so you guys understand how to uh, change those things around. I like that it's right on top. That feature is nice up there. If you ever need to change your launcher, it's nice that it's the top setting. It's not stuck down in some menu somewhere hard to find. I do like that it's right there. Um, home screens. You guys can see you have all these settings. The one things that are fun to play with on here are screen transition effects. Right here. And... You can kind of, oh, they even give you, oh, I love that. They give you an example of what it actually is going to kind of look like on the transition. Not seen that in a launcher yet. That is nice. I definitely like that, that you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like when you do that. Instead of hitting them, going to your home screen, transitioning, going back, it's kind of annoying. The other thing you might want to check out right here is this transparencies. Go to 100% transparency, and it makes your uh, notification bar up here on top uh, transparent with your wallpaper. So I, I like that feature for sure. You can, there's a lot of other things in there. I'm just pointing out the stuff that kind of sticks out to me. Um, grid sizes. Again, you're going to have um, screen transition effects in your app drawer. Same basic screen transitions if you guys want to adjust those and change them. App drawer backgrounds. you got some different things there. And some information there. Docs. You can put widgets in your dock if you want. You can set your number, number of docs. Different things like that, uh, which is pretty nice. Nice features. This is pretty standard for most launchers that I've seen most of these uh, features. That's why I'm not going over them too much. Just kind of showing them to you. Preview folders, background image, a folder, neon, because that's the theme we have. So you can see some of those, those things. You do have gestures in here, it looks like. Swipe up, swipe down. 
Um, I could do a swipe up, bring launcher menus, um, run cleaner, run an app. You can see there are lots of features here. Two finger swipes. I mean, that's just all kinds of goodies. Right here, this is kind of cool. This is called Fast Launcher. Let me go ahead and show you what this does. So we're going to turn it on. And you can see it in the notification bar right there. It's called Starting Fast Launcher. And there is a little bit of things here you can tweak, but um, I'm not going to really do that, but I want to show you how it works. Basically, it's your most recent run applications are going to be up here. And it just kind of keeps compiling them. So if you want to go, so once we launch those themes, you can see I did that neon theme. You can just tap that right there, and it'll apply that theme. And there you go. So it's just nice that everything's in there right off the get-go. If you want to go to, like, Chrome or something, you can go right to Chrome. It just, it just keeps a running tab of your most recent applications, and that's what's nice about it, really. So let me keep finish going through here in Preferences. Um, definitely like that Fast Launcher. That's a nice little feature. Here's some advanced stuff. So lock screens, keep in memory, definitely a good thing to do. Re reboot, exit it, a um, bunch of different things you can do. Oh, missed call counting, unread message counting, different uh, little settings you can do. It keeps like a number on your phone or a number on your message icon of how many missed messages or calls you guys have. Back up here, restore about it. And you can see different things about it, information, notices, copyright versions, and all that kind of goodies in there as well. So that's going to be most of the settings. But then let me just go through some of these icons that are on here that I think are very, really nice, kind of built into the uh, launcher. So let me show you what we got here first. So first of all, you have this thing called Cleaner. And it's very simple. You just tap it. And it frees up memory on your device. So I just freed up 900 megabytes. This has got 3 gigs, so... You know, that's like a third of your memory just got cleaned up right there by just tapping it. I like that that feature's on there. Here you can go ahead and go to those free themes. Here's some applications right here and here um, that they kind of include and kind of recommend you to download, which is nice. Um, here's your folder. You can see how that basically functions. Different little things themed up there. It does have a battery percentage thing right here, which is cool. And if you click on it, It'll just pop up and give you your temperature, Celsius, Fahrenheit, voltage, percentage charge. Nice little extras right there, which is pretty cool. And then here, this is really cool. Quick settings. I like this. This is nice. It just gets you to everything really fast. So battery will bring you up to your, your battery screen and have all your percentages and all that kind of stuff. Um, apps, obviously, is going to be your app drawer or application manager, actually. I'm sorry. And you can go through here, you can see downloaded, you can see on the SD card, you can see running, you can see all once they populate, and all that kind of goodies. So this quick settings is just nice, it gets you into everything. You can go to keyboards, and pick your keyboard if you want to be able to do that very quickly. Wi-Fi stuff, alarms, ringtones, I think you guys get the picture of it. So those are, those are pretty cool. There's the application again. And this is all just standard stuff. So you can see there's a counter on that application right there, Facebook. You've seen all this stuff. Okay. So the last thing, I guess, two things I want to show you that are really neat on this is this little bar up here on top. You do have your little flashlight you can turn on and off. It turns on your LED. Uh, and it does have information here. So this, this is kind of a nice little pull down for it. Quick access to all these quick icons. Like my phone does have them up here too as well. But if you don't, it's nice that they're all built in right here. So that's a, that's a nice feature. Lastly, I want to show you the app drawer and just show you another cool thing that I saw in here that I really liked. So you have all the standard app, app drawer right here. Then you can go to recent and it shows you the most recent, which is actually the same thing that you get shown up here in the fast launcher. Um, and then you have running. And you can see these are things that are running on your device. And then again, you have this little clean button. So you can see the memory I've got used up. You can just tap the clean button. And it just cleans up your memory really quick. I like that it's in the app drive. I really like, and I like the visual of it, being able to see the, the applications that are running. There's some nice features there. It's very cool. And then widgets, just standard widgets. You do have uh, some Play Store and drawer settings you can go into and adjust some things right there and then back out. So there it is. That's pretty much everything I can see with this launcher. Just looking through it, what I've seen recently. And it does have some nice features in it. There are some, there are some pretty cool perks of installing this uh, Doodle Launcher. If I'm even saying that right, I hope I am. But uh, 
some of these little features like this thing and the battery and just some of these features are, are really really nice so there it is guys that's going to be pretty much my full review of the doodle launcher hope you guys like this as i say check out some of these other things on here these other little app recommended applications you guys can download i'm sure they're pretty cool too probably really add to the uh features of the launcher and there's lock screen options as well but i'm not really going to go through any of that stuff today so hope you guys like it as always root junkie out